The next station is the Brisbane Domestic Airport. My name is Lisa Jeffcoat and I'm a teacher. One of the best decisions I ever made in my life was to become a teacher. I have never regretted the decision for one moment. I started at St Stanislaus North Rockhampton in a primary school as a year five teacher with 40 ten year old boys. As a big, true story. As a beginning teacher, probably why no one else took the job. <laughs> As a beginning teacher, I learned some things from Brother Rochford that have stayed with me in my teaching career. Firstly, the importance of being punctual, on time, if not early. The importance of knowing the names of all of the students. And last but not least, if you are given an extra duty by Brother, which I regularly was, I'm not sure why, you just accept it and say thank you but there were lots of opportunities as well. As teachers, we work with young people to assist them to grow in knowledge. And in our schools, we have teachers, we have staff, and in particular, we have teachers, support staff as well, but teachers who have a passion for teaching and learning. In our schools, in our diocese here, that stretches from Mackay to Bundaberg, out to Longreach, we have teachers who are professionally skilled. They're committed to ongoing development, we call formation, but professional development. And above all, they're passionate about the safety and welfare of the children in their care. In all of these endeavours and in my role as Director of Catholic Education, we are indeed blessed to have a great friend and partner in the Queensland College of Teachers. And when I say partner, I don't just mean for Catholic education, I mean across all of the sectors. So we partner all of the sectors with the Queensland College of Teachers. And we're delighted to be marking this significant milestone of 50 years as a statutory body responsible for regulating the teaching profession, but so much more. The act under which the College of Teachers is established states that the role of the college is to uphold the standards of the teaching profession, maintain public confidence and protect the public by ensuring education in schools is provided in a professional and competent way by approved teachers. It is my very strong view that the College of Teachers has done all of this and more. The Catholic Education Office here in the Diocese of Rockhampton enjoys a very close and mutually supportive relationship with the college. We always find the team at the QCT to be collegial and collaborative in their approach, and they always provide a very timely response to our requests for information and assistance. The college provides great resources for teachers. I'm always referring people to, have you looked at the Queensland College of Teachers website? They have a one-stop shop of fantastic resources from beginning teachers through to our most experienced educators. Not only our office, but across sectors work closely with the Queensland College of Teachers to maintain the highest of standards for the teaching profession. And that is what each of us only expects, I'd suggest, the highest of standards. And we could hope, not hope for a more helpful partner in that regard in the, in the Queensland College of Teachers. 2021 has been a year of many significant milestones and anniversaries. For us in Catholic education, it's 200 years in Australia since the first Catholic school was founded. And now we celebrate 50 years of exemplary service to the teaching profession by the Queensland College of Teachers. There wasn't probably much interaction that I had with the QCT um, and the college and I was lucky enough to be nominated for the TeachX Awards and that 
probably changed everything. It was a wonderful experience. And I guess that was the thing. I didn't actually know what the TeachX wards were. And that's, I'm more kind of involved in group, school, that idea. So the individual wards really wasn't something that I'd paid much attention to in all honesty. But I can honestly say, and especially knowing a few of the people in the room here today that are in charge of their schools and, and areas of education, it was one of the most beneficial things I've ever done. And I think even from the first moment of being called into the principal's office and being told, which was, wasn't new for me, but being called in there and, and kind of being told that I'd been nominated, I went, well, you know, fantastic, thank you, I'm really appreciative, but um, and do I need to do anything? And he said, no, and I said, fantastic, so off I went. I don't think I told anyone. I really didn't get what it was all about. Um, and I really didn't, and as we spoke before, Dawn, uh, Dawn, so I guess I didn't think I was doing anything special that was worth mention, and that was the hardest part. So um, a little time went on, I got another call to say that I'd been shortlisted, and I kind of thought, fantastic. I said again, is there anything I need to do? Uh, yes time it was a yes, so there was a bit of paperwork. We sent it off, and we just went on with things. And it was really hard to understand what I was doing in my everyday, how that was worth anyone really knowing about, or it was just doing my job. Finally, I got a call in about two months later into, can you come in and speak to the leadership team? And at that time, you know, that thought goes through your head. Um, do I pack my stuff now? Do I wait? What, um, who have I spoken to this week? Who have I offended? There's all these things going through my head. And if you know me, that's probably not a stretch. So I kind of went on down and they had these cheesy grins. Uh, they're very good at running school, but not good at lying or trying to set something up. And I went down and they said, you know, congratulations, you've made the finals in the Teach X Awards. And I was so humbled. Um, but it was at that stage where I knew something was up. They kind of said, you've got to keep this confidential, you know, it's got to be announced. And I think, I went back to my office and sat down and thought, well, I don't know, why me? But it was at this stage, you know, if you watch those action movies and you see someone get delivered an envelope, and they open it and the mobile phone comes out and it rings instantly. It was a little like that. And I went back to my desk, I opened up my laptop and this email came straight through from QCT saying, uh, now that you've been alerted by your school leadership team, and I thought, who are these people? They have me bugged. They're watching what's happening. You know, what have I signed on for? I, I, I was starting to get a bit nervous. So, um, but then I sat down and in all seriousness, the chance to advocate for teachers and to be able to be on the radio and speak about not me, but us and what we do and the way that we do it. And I don't know, just thinking about that night, there were so many stories and you could not come away without being inspired and want to do more and be better and help others to be better. And that's probably the biggest thing that I got out of that experience. So was that chance to share our message as teachers and to celebrate the work of teachers. In reflection on today, I really thought about the role of the QCT in that. And one of the things that was probably understated from that night was about the way that you guys did that. I felt 10 foot tall and bulletproof. Did you feel the same? It, yeah, it was just a... Oh, it, it did, but it was authentic and it was real. They talked about us like we were celebrities. <laughs> like we'd gone through and, and we'd, you know, the service that we did and the, just the way that they glowingly spoke about the role of teachers. I've never heard anything like it or felt anything like it. And so it was just a phenomenal um, experience and something that I really was unsure of at the start, but through the QCT's work and just the celebration of what we do, um, it was uh, yeah, something I'll never forget. If there is anything I could leave you with, it's those people in the room, when that option comes up to nominate people for those awards, take it. Don't think if, think who. And if we can nominate people, put them out there. Even if it's just a tap on the shoulder to say that you're appreciated for what you do, that's enough. That was enough for me. Anyone that can be, have that opportunity, and as a college you know, of um, teachers, they do it better than most.